So welcome back to Conscious Realities, where we speak on love, relationships, and spirituality, where all three falls into one. Listen, let's talk about something very important. This has always been in my mind because it doesn't make sense. Many of us fall victim to repeating this same line. I've heard many women say the same line. I need a man to stimulate my mind. Let me tell you how dangerous that is. It sounds good because people repeat it, but they don't know what it really means. I want to tell you what it means, okay? And I hope you bear with me. But before I begin, I want to tell you thank you for joining me. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe right now. Like and comment. Let me know in the comment section, let me know what you would like me to speak of in the future and I will speak on them. So let's go. Why is it a scary, why is it a dangerous thing to say to someone, I need somebody to stimulate my mind? Let's talk about the mind for a second because I've heard many people say this. Let's talk about the mind, what the mind is. What is the mind? The mind is an accumulation of all things. Everything that you have experienced, everything that you have heard, everything that you have watched, what you have felt, what you have tasted, touched, smelled, heard, everything is what you have experienced when you were younger, when you was a baby, when you was an adult, is stuff that you have seen on the TV, the music that you listen to, is all happened to be fed into the mind. The mind accumulate all those things. Now, depending on what you experience, maybe you were addicted to pornography or gossiping, or you have been doing all these things and watching all these things and hearing all these things, and those things came to your mind. Those things are now in your mind. Those things make up your mind. Your mind goes on those things. It travels to those things. And sometimes you don't even like the way how you think or how you feel, especially when you're alone. You don't like... You don't like how your mind is made up. Sometimes your mind gives you anxiety because of your mind, you become scared or insecure because of your own mind, your own thoughts. Now you expect someone to come in that mind and stir that mind up so that it can be stimulated. When you have all those things in there, all the music that you listen to, all the stupid movies, the murder movies, the court shows and the Everything you have, you want somebody to come in there and stimulate that thing. That's not fair. See, your mind is yours to stimulate. You cannot and you should not depend on anybody to stimulate that thing that you call your mind, where all this waste, all this past, all this stuff that you don't like are sitting in. See, stimulating your mind is not another person's responsibility. And how dare us thinking that that's a good thing to say, I need somebody to stimulate my mind. That is your mind. You have to stimulate your own mind. You see, we expect too much of people. And this is why we can't find partners because when we find one, we desire too much. We want somebody to come and stimulate our love. You want somebody to come and make you love. See, we don't want to love before people come. Because we think that's somebody else's job to stimulate our love, to light our oven, and then let the love start. These are things that we were told on social media. These are things that people speak about around you and you picked it up and you believed it. Stimulating your mind cannot be another person's responsibility because another person didn't feed your mind those things. All that pollution in there, all that fear, that toxicity, you want somebody to come and stir it up and make a good product out of it so that you can enjoy it. That's your mind and you, it is your responsibility and it's up to you to focus on your mind and clear your mind. Listen, relationships are hard. Why? Because you expect too much from one person. See, we don't want a partner. We want a savior. We want somebody to come and remove our anxiety. We want somebody to come and make you happy. We want somebody to come and bring us peace when they come. We want somebody to come and bring us all this stuff and that is not fair. 
that is not fair to no one, but we do it because it sounds good. Stimulate your mind. How do someone stimulate your mind? Well, good conversation. You know, you could have good conversation with anyone. You could have some by yourself. You could have some with friends. You could have groups, but we want some. See, we require so much of someone. And when a person cannot fit those positions that you give them, you think that they are not good enough. That is not right. They are not right for you. They are wrong. No, those people are very right for you, but we expect too much. The thing is, this is your mind. And you have had your mind for so many years. Don't expect someone to come and do something to your mind that you cannot do yourself. Stimulate it. But you can find happiness, bliss, harmony, and peace. This is your responsibility. See, we expect too much from one person. That's why we can't keep no one. That's why we get bored. That's why it always ends in pain. Expectations are off. It's not supposed to be so much. It's supposed to be someone who comes along and just walk with us. Someone to join us in what we are already doing. Someone to join our happiness that's already there. And our peace that's already there. It's not someone to bring happiness or peace. Or bring stimulation. This is your responsibility. Now I know many of you won't agree with me. Because you would ask. But well, I need somebody to converse with on a higher level. And we can have conversations. But understand. Some of your deepest conversations. You will be alone. And if your conversations are not deep when you're alone, the problem is you. If you are always bored, the problem is you. If you are lonely, the problem is you. If you are triggered, the problem is you. And you shouldn't expect no one to come along and fix that. This is your healing. And healing is necessary. And healing includes a part where you can stimulate your own mind so that your body, your spirit, and your soul can be nurtured. It is you. It is up to you. Don't expect no one to come and stimulate your mind because you will always be looking for stimulation. You will always be looking for fun. You will always be looking for that person, but you will never find them and you will never find you. It is your job. I hope you understand me. Thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe now. Turn your notification on and make sure I see you for the next one. Blessings.